I can probably get a nice backpack. I probably get everything I need. So I'm gonna bring a helper and let's bring a chainmail vest. I have some crappy armor still too, don't I? Brigand. No pants. I can bring some glory pants, but I'll just find the rest of my outfit. Bring a hat. Hi. Hi. Axe. Gun. Gun. Yeah, go figure. Come on. No, I meant to... Oh, damn it. I meant to loot. Eh, there's the vest. Ah, you asshole. Oh, I didn't need to do that. And cut, need that. Uh, better than mine. Better than mine. Oh. Alright. Miss. Miss. My bad, I'm wasting your time. Please die. I really. I was gonna say, I really need to pick up what's on the ground under you. He's going to step into that space. is better, right? So this one just says better condition and crit damage. The damage otherwise is it's less accurate. I think the less accurate part's the part where I don't really want it. What does a backup gun even mean? I don't even know.
Oh shit. Fuck. That was terrible. This is better, though, than the gun I'm using. And the ardor is better than the glory. Or the damage that matters. Ah, you fucking... Oh! Okay. No, it's not.
too far. <laughs> Oops. Damn it. I mean, this is turning out to be very similar to the last run, so I feel like we're going to end up with a lot of actual stuff I want to bring back instead of just random ingredients. Hi.
I didn't even go to the medical room. I need to remember to do that before I go exploring all the other spots. First of all, there's this thing. Wow, that was pretty lucky. Don't really need those. floor. Mr. Meaty, the snack that smells like meat. I have lots of these, I don't need another one. Hi. actually better than my axe or my knife a, a bit it's even more accurate I had to just cut instead of pierce Oh, hi. Um, just step up. 
Then I hit you in the face. How many of you guys are in there? Hopefully it lands somewhere convenient. That's not convenient. It's not convenient at all. The unluck. Eat your noodles. Disassemble that. Swap that for this for now. Actually, here, put that on you. And then we'll come over here and take it off you so I can see it. Damn it. Damn it.
close to this thing, aren't I? Yeah, it's right outside. Everything else will stack. <clears throat> Damn it. Where'd my axe go? Oh, I threw it at the other guy. That's good to know. Okay. Um <sighs> Oh. 
Oh, hello. Oh, that's my mistake. I stop wasting ammo on people with melee weapons. Which one's which? This one. Oh, no. We're on the floor three, then why is that the... Oh, of course you're going to fire from there. Damn it. I'm not going to carve him up yet. I'll wait until I get my other weapon, other axe. Uh, what do you have? You have a... Ooh, um... Where's his body? Yep. Take that. Drop this. Here. Dismantle that. 
just want my axe back. Oh, surprise. Common item chip. We already make these, but this gets us out of here. Let's leave the wonder glue behind. And do a quick search of the individuals. Hello. Question is how much do I want to gamble or do I just want to get out of here and start over? Oh, hello. Um Oh, where were you hiding? I mean in here obviously. You're going to come back over here, buddy. Not the button I wanted to push. I keep pushing one for my weapon slot. And so I just wrap myself up right in front of her. We're gonna keep looking at this, searching this floor, see if there's anything else worth bringing back. over there waiting for me but I gotta move that so that we don't accidentally blow everything up
I don't want to go. I want to take. Damn it. Hey, yeah, puke it up. You'll be fine. I left the damn thing running right there. Borrow this for a sec. big gun
Why? Oh, she's reloading for like forever. Switch again. So this is the new one, right? Yeah. I'm gonna keep going. Oh, I feel like I shouldn't. I feel like I should leave. I should at least see the next floor. Oh, there's one right there. Uh oh. Right, that was just this door. Too far away for the axe. Ow. You fucker. Really? It says I have a shot. What the hell is that? Could have gone back and got one of those bones, but I'm just being impatient now.
Yeah, yeah, puke it up. It'll be fine. What do you got? Pistol? Come get me. Son of a bitch. That's not good. That's really not good. Hey Mary, how you doing? I don't want to lose that though. Ah, you fucker! Oh, hello. You're not coming further? Fine then. Oh shit. Dead. Floor noodles. I'll come back for that once I find more ammo. Speaking of ammo. Empty. Damn. Another item chip. This one's for f the energy gun.
I don't need the cigarettes. Alright, how long until this needs more repair? One more. Alright, cool. Perfect. Boom. Ah, hello. Hi, how you doing? Um, we're gonna spray you and then back up and you're both gonna die. What, that didn't fix that? That was literally four fractures. Oh, hi. Um, peekaboo? Reload, eat the snack. More ammo. Um, I need a place to put this. But I have nothing I want to get rid of. There we go. Oh, hi. Alright, that's the objective, but I'm not interested in the objective. I'm still got to actually stabilize my thigh. Oh, we can break that. We actually have... Oh, we don't have that spot. Okay, whatever. Not interested in the device. We want more free gubs. Hi, how you doing? What do you got? Big stick? Come here. Axe. Hello. So now there's actually ammo here for that gun. Yeah, cute story. Ah, uh, that's a shame. Anything you want to talk about or can even talk about? might be completely wrapped up in my game however I am a multitasker when it comes to the conversing of stations that made no sense don't listen to me I'm a nonce I'm, I'm an I'm a lunatic I'm hopped up on coffee and I'm playing a video game <laughs> continue to clear this floor because uh, might as well find everything I can. Oh, and I also should uh, break these down and see if I can get some more weapon parts to repair this rifle more. Getting really good at this whole moving around and making sh making sure items are on display on the floor, so I know that they're there. Someone made an instant ticket for a feature that is not implemented. <laughs> Battle on this bullshit, and then they put it 
into our story because our story not being done was blocking them more bullshit so we prioritize and finish the stuff friday so now the guy yesterday only to find out that he still doesn't understand how anything works and now it's the third meeting of explaining how he needs to do this sounds familiar <laughs> um not to sound too ageist or anything but uh i'm guessing this is an older individual <laughs> Uh, his words also were why we couldn't give him like his own test data. I literally asked him to pick a set of test data yesterday so we couldn't, so he wouldn't touch that. Right. No, they're not older, so they're just incompetent, is what you're saying. I mean, you're not saying that, you're, but that is what I am understanding <laughs> that they are incompetent. They have too many goodies. And there's nothing I can put in this pocket except for that first aid kit. I think I'm going to end up dropping the cables. No, I need more cables. I have plenty of chips. There we go. that he's uh, having his head in many different cases, but that he should just come to ask the correct questions instead of making big group problems. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's especially a shame when it's very clear that, like, the person doesn't really understand even what they uh, are talking about. Like, that's just so frustrating. It's like, ow! Oh, friends. Like, it would be one thing if the... If what they were complaining about was valid. But the fact that... They're basically using this as an excuse for why they haven't done their thing. It's like, that's not a good excuse, buddy, if it's uh, not valid. Ooh, there's a lot of weapons in there. Uh, could you guys come over here where I can shoot you in the face? Be great. Thanks, Nightbot. Appreciate it. It's not close enough. I want you to come closer. Or die. That works, too. Alright, we're gonna... We're gonna... We're going to risk this. Oh, great. Nice time for the ad break. Chop! Nice double tap. And one of my favorite um, reads, and also a lot of these, well, it's not a lot of YouTube that I watch anymore, but a lot of the stuff I read uh, when I scroll through my newsfeed is actually reposted reddit stories from you know entitled people and tales from tech support and the like so i catch a lot of stories about just business incompetence that's why i unfairly assumed age was involved because it usually is a lot of times when you find like these stories it's someone older who just clearly doesn't understand what they're doing and has like you know probably lied their way into the position they have again you know no evidence since <laughs> that i don't have any specific evidence of that but lots of stories oh <sighs> And the blame shifting is another one too. That's actually the blame shifting. So yeah, everyone is nervous in there and the, this is now a you problem phase starts and I'm annoyed, of course, because we are always the ones trying to uphold quality. We keep to the demands, we do our tests properly and then people start finger pointing. But really, we are late because other teams aren't doing their job. Are we blaming and finger pointing? No, we sit down with folks and try to find solutions. And we are the ones having to pay every single time. That sucks. It sounds like you guys are getting the short end of the stick for sure. 
But this is kind of what I mean is like blame shifting is more of a priority than actual the actual like end goal. And that is something that older generations, aka boomers, and especially younger generation, aka zoomers, have in common. The blame shifting is a thing. Like, I am trying to cause generational drama. I'm just pointing out what I'm seeing. There's not a lot of humility. There's not a lot of ownership of their own mistakes. It's... And this is coming from somebody who worked in a school when I'm speaking of the younger generation. So it's not like I'm just throwing shade because I, I you know, that's the popular. No, no, no. I was working hand in hand with students. Blame shifting is a thing. They don't want to accept responsibility for their mistake. I, and again, this is generalization, but it's generalization based on my experience working in a school. <clears throat> it's... Obviously not all of them. I realized I was just saying all that when there was an ad break. <laughs> uh, I need the wet wear. I don't need the alcohol, but I want it. I have extra microchips at home. Let's leave the microchip. How would the irritation be if they never learned a better way? And a lot of this is how companies let it fester. Yeah. I understand. Well, I know you can still hear me. I believe you have the uh, the Super Prime, right? Oh, yeah, you got the sub before as well. That was when I... Uh, you know what's funny about that? Um, that was when we got raided by the larger channel. And uh, everyone hung around and watched me play the um, Shadows of Doubt. And, you know, I got the, um, was it, was that the sub two hour or was that the just sub two thirty? It was like, it was one of my goals. It was my current goal at the time and we achieved it. But even as I was achieving it, I was like, you know what? I bet I could do better. And not much later, I did do better. I got the sub, I got to one thirty. And the, the funny thing is, is that while I was doing that, I was also th openly saying, you know, with the right seed, I could get sub one hour. And literally two runs later, the same stream, I get the sub one hour. But nobody's there to watch. <laughs> it's like there was like a hundred people watch me get like 230-ish. No one's there for the 56. <laughs> Yeah, it's just, it, I, I literally just got the luck that I needed for the run that I wanted. So it all worked out. The The main difference is getting a hold of, ow, you tickles. Suck axe. The, uh, the main thing was getting a hold of Vigor early. Vigor is um, the skill that allows you to ignore fall damage. So when you get that early, you can literally just start jumping out of buildings to, instead of using the elevator. It's so much faster. The entire run is so fast when you have Vigor early. I gotta figure out how to get some of this stuff into my inventory. So because I had early vigor, I was able to do that and it shaved the extra half hour off the run. And I continued to have decent luck as well. I mean, you still need good luck. That's what I kind of like about the run. To me, a really fun run isn't all execution because if it was all execution, then in theory, anyone with enough patience would be able to do it. Same with if it's all luck, in theory, anyone with enough patience could do it. You just keep trying. You just either keep trying or keep learning and practicing the execution. But when it's a combination of the two, for me, that's that's the great part. Because then it's like, you know, you you have to show off your execution when you can, you know, you need to know wh which avenues to take, which leads to follow. And I don't just mean literally in the game, which leads to follow. But I mean, like, if you 
see that you have like both of the runs that I got sub two hour on, I s got to the point where I had one left on my um, upgrades and I'm like, okay, it's not worth continuing to look randomly. I'm going to go do a mission for that specific upgrade. It's like knowing that you can do that and that it would be faster. It's things like that. <sighs> I'm going to leave the lunches behind. But specifically, we're going to go over into this corner. Right here. Just sit in the corner. Pop open our lunch. We eat our black caviar. Have our wagyu. And eat the tuna. And we're going to wash it down with cognac. Fancy ass lunch right there. Wagyu, tuna, caviar, and cognac. <laughs> it's a hell of a lunch. <laughs> but yeah, to me, that's a more interesting run. <laughs> yes right in the, well I'm assuming that it's like it's been vacuum sealed and it so like there's uncooked meat that you can eat that will make you sick so my assumption is whatever that was is it was like an already prepared ready to eat meal but I absolutely scooped that caviar out with my bare hand or Isabel did she's a savage like, she's the kind of savage that, like, you want on your team just so that you don't have to have her on the other team, if anything. It's like, she's first pick so that she's not somebody else's first pick. It's like, you might not need to pick her first. She might not be the best first pick. But you definitely don't want somebody else to first pick her. So she's on your team regardless. Can love Isabel. She got the best melee. She's immune to infection. Get plugged. Oh, you guys actually survived that? Holy crap. Alright, well, let's do the triple kill. Ba -ba -bam. Oh. I was hoping to get the uh oh hi. Relay as well with that. Uh that didn't work. Alright. Um shut up. I'm thinking. Bear hands. I think I lost my axe though. Oh, it's right here. Good, 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 good. Yeah, she's a beast and I love her. It really does help that she has the like, I think she's actually got legit the best melee damage. I shot this guy's arm off. <laughs> it does make for good emergency food, but if you, you need to like be able to cook it normally, but with Isabel, I don't have to worry about that. I have five steps remaining before this potentially becomes a problem. Alright, it fixed. Didn't want to go wandering around with uh, my leg broken because I would lose HP. Like you can stabilize wounds, but if you don't treat them, they will eventually become a problem. I mean, they will become a problem right away. But treating them is just a matter of hitting them with the right medicine and, and then having the good luck. So like if you have a fracture, you want to use a splint. But while it does increase your chance of recovering, it doesn't guarantee. Um, I think I'm going to bring the Taiga back instead of the border. No, I'll just redeploy with the border. And we'll bring the rogue because I like the rogue. I don't know if I'll ever use the ARs, like if I ever deploy with them, but I like them. And we're not finishing the mission normally. We're just gonna leave because we're allowed to. <laughs> yeah. 
especially I mean like when you're a methed out super soldier it's a little bit easier but still all right so we're gonna repair that we're not gonna repair that though we're just where'd that go there it is there those there Um, yeah, I'll learn the, the energy gun. That sounds like a fun weapon to modify. All right, and now that I know, we're gonna break all three of these and get trash. Oh, at least I got one transformer. I broke one when I was in the field and it gave me a transformer, a lens, and a microchip. And I'm like, I need all three of those things. So now I come back and I break three of them. I get a lens, a transformer, a lens, and no microchips from breaking three of them. Rip, rip, a -roni. But we did get one transformer. So that makes two, right? Yeah, we have two now. But I think we need three specifically for what I want to upgrade. Uh, it was hanger, wasn't it? No, I need two for two extra slots. I need three for that side. Which I'd really like to get because uh, yeah, the number of charges is the big one. But now we can see if we unlock the shuttle. Yes, we do. Okay, so I need to go make a I need to make a ceramic plate. Um which of these is gonna drop a ceramic plate? Hold on, let me uh do it in someone's inventory. Do these drop I don't think these drop ceramic plates. I think it's gonna have to be something like people's front armor. Nope. Maybe Eliminator? No. No glory doesn't break the frame. It didn't it didn't give me anything that I need ceramic plate. I don't think these do. No, they don't. That's a shame. I just broke a bunch of nice armor in order to try and get ceramic plates and got zero. We only have one. Uh, maybe I can break one of these. I'm gonna have to break them. I need, I need, oh, damn it. It didn't give me, it, the second one didn't even give me anything. Ugh. Big whiff. Right, she's going to take six more hours to heal. I don't want to trade any of those. Or that. Or any of that. Especially not to real wear anyway. <sighs> We just wait for Isabel to heal up and go back in. All right, so if I wanted to upgrade the flash, what would I want to upgrade? Well, I could bring it down to a one reload duration, but I'm not really stressed about reload durations but it does take uh has a lot of ammo what well, doesn't it have hold on cancel that reduction 
single shot and dual shot. It also takes a lot of fancy shit to make. What do I need to use to upgrade it, though? Um, let's say I just upgrade damage. This is going to take item chips. Well, I can get up to... Wow, I can get up to 12 before it requires any item chips. So I could really pack up, like, punch up the damage. Like, I could that's practically a double. That's more than double. More than double the damage on that thing. Accuracy only improves by one. Don't really care about scatter. I could lower the re reload time to one anyway. Be convenient. Take all my wire though to do this. Thirteen and twenty-five. Meanwhile, if I just five, so that's like fifty percent. It's like that's that's five more damage. It's Ten more damage each across the board. Ten across the board, right? Yeah. So it's twenty-six, thirty-six. It's just improving it by two each. So ten more damage would be 2 and 10. 10 more on top of that would be 9 and 20. That's a lot of my cable and a lot of my... Not a lot of circuit boards, but a lot of my cable. But that thing would just melt people. I'll have to consider it. <clears throat> the only reason why I don't want to is that batteries are not... Actually, they're not super difficult to make either. It's mostly that I don't have a lot of glass, which I need to start prioritizing if I'm going to make more batteries. <sighs> I have not seen that many of the repair kits compared to what I used to see back when they were not as important. I really need to get a gun that I actually care about so that I can do a cool project with one with something like that. Alright, let's let uh Isabel recover real quick. And bring her back. Um Here, let's swap out these for the trashier ones, because they're broken. Uh, leave these behind. And same with the shoes, I'll take the trashier ones, because we'll probably end up finding, like, and uh, leave this behind too. We'll find stuff as we go through. I'm gonna bring the rookie vest instead of the chainmail vest because I could use the extra weapon slots. Honestly, I should probably just bring the extra backpack. Because I only have one extra backpack and I'm really waiting for when I have the bigger shuttle because the idea would be that <clears throat> I clear the mission out and I can swap to the larger backpack that's waiting for me on the shuttle. So I don't want to risk taking it in with me. Oh, hey, Soul World. I appreciate the follow. And yeah, I'll bring the axe and the shotgun. Uh, do I want to bring shells with me? I've got extra. I might as well.
Oh, you know what? I'm actually going to leave the axe behind. Because the axe... Oh, no, see, I have all these nice knives. The axe is only slightly better than the knives. It's that it does cut instead of piercing. Actually, that's important. I should just bring the knife. Because I only have... I mean, I do have the moon sabers. But you can't throw those. The moon sabers. The Duger sabers. I still have this Hydra pistol. I should take that with me just to get rid of it. Yeah, maybe another time. Okay. Let's get in there. It's actually a really nice starting map because you always find really cool stuff right here. Look at all this goodies. Makes me want to call the uh, dropship like from the start just so I can stash all this stuff away. It's funny because I do want to pick up more glass. Oh, where's my knife? Oh, it's probably up that way, but let's check the, uh, because of the way these maps work, sometimes this bathroom actually is a hallway. <laughs> uh, let's bring the water with us. You never know when you need a sudden influx of 50 hit points. Because apparently drinking five liters of water is how you heal. Hey guy, what do you have? Submachine gun? You wanna... Perfect! Let me get that. Take that and that. And look at that, we've already got better boots. I can skirt of you, come here. saying I'll just throw this at that person I wasn't saying it I was thinking it oh I walked right into that I'm being very reckless we need to get good is this better yes it is these are not I guess one of the other ones opened it for him. All right, she's gonna move and shoot me. He can't shoot me. If I go to here, she'll move there and shoot me. If I go to here, I block line of sight. That was a shame. I should not have done it like that. I keep pushing the wrong button. We're good. Just a few scratches. Hi. Bitch. Alright, well that was sloppy, but we got through it. Hey, Ribbit.
Where did I throw that? It's here, right? Yeah. You know what? Maybe I will try to save his head. <laughs> there are a lot of robots in here. Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll find extra heads. Throwing it ahead in there in case I need it when I'm in this room. I don't need that. It's a semi-automatic shotgun. Actually, it's a fully automatic shotgun, I think. But it's, uh... I just prefer being able to reload faster. There's not a lot of situations I get in where I want the, uh... Three round burst. Usually I can stall out a fight and uh, it's more important that I can reload faster. Who actually, oh, his gun's in much better condition than mine. That was interesting. Huh. Oh, hi. Um. He doesn't see me. Um. <clears throat> snack snack that smiles back long pork no wait are those work clothes or regular clothes work clothes good work clothes are important regular clothes are not Look at that. We already have a mind chip. Means we can leave. Although we already have this one. Oh, you fucker! <laughs> I got blasted into fucking space! Oh. <sighs> that sucked. This mission is just full of enemies. <laughs> 